All right, so the third clip um, in the article for why speed drills won't get you faster as an athlete ties in pretty well to the previous clip, which dealt with um, how sprinting occurs in the brain. So as we've already learned, and I just previously discussed, sprinting occurs in the part of your brain that's very, it's, it serves very basic and instinctual functions. So you don't need to think about it. Um, yeah, it's just there, and you just need to learn how to express it better through proper training methods. Um, so in this clip, I want to talk about force factors. So you have, you have internal, internal focus um, and, and forces, and then you have an, an external focus with that to create force and sprinting. So in the bodybuilding culture, um, this is relative to this, this discussion, you'll hear a lot of talk about the mind-muscle connection or any, any conscious focus um, or internal awareness to help create uh, a stronger brain on muscle connection to be able to generate more effort and to get stronger and grow more muscle so that you look better on stage. So in that environment, in that type of situation, it's absolutely beneficial to do mind-muscle um, focused training. So that's just consciously thinking about what you need to do in order to move. But unfortunately, that style of training doesn't have any, any fucking carryover to um, you know, force and, uh, excuse me, velocity and speed-based training. So with that, as you've seen, you have just milliseconds, literally the snap of a finger, maybe a little bit longer in order to generate force and run faster. And uh, you, know, you need to focus externally on running. So not only is this practical, if you actually sit back and think about it, say, for example, you know, you're running down the track at a 100 meter dash, you're focused on the finish line, or you're focused on your competitor or your peripheral. So all of your, all of your attention and your awareness deals with your environment and your surroundings uh, you know, outside of the body and around you. And to support that idea, research actually also um, confirms what, what I'm telling you. So when you have an external focus um, set forth on everything around you, when you're doing speed-based stuff, you're going to be faster and you're going to be more, more successful. So any sprint technical training drill all of the coaches, um, trainers, everybody, they're trying to get you to consciously and internally focus on what you're doing. And everything until this point has uh, you know, totally kind of just abolished that whole notion.